How'd you like to throw this ball up? Way up. <laughs> and it's won by seven foot four inch Chris Kumaji, a part of the starting lineup for Florida State, brought to you by Old Navy. Terrence Mann made the game winning shot in overtime yesterday. Their leading scorer, Biondu Cabanagelli, actually comes off the bench, didn't start a game all year, as Kofer knocks down a three. And Kyle Guy, Jerome's second team All ACC. Guy and Hunter, both first team All ACC. And Hunter reverses it up and in. Right, what a move by DeAndre Hunter. Points per possession based on the quality of your opponent as well. Oh. Over the top to Kumaji, and how do you defend that? Team defensive team. Open is Hunter. Shot fake, steps inside the line and knocks down a two. The change in the starting lineup midway through the season for the Hoos as Kihei Clark went in there, a freshman, good on-ball defender. Boy, they play the pick and roll game as well as anybody in the country. Make a decision. You got to worry about Kyle Guy. Uh, Kumaji is worried about Guy coming off. Is he going to shoot it? Because Walker got picked off by that big body of Jack Salt. Total of Jack Salt the last time these two teams played, but you mentioned he had 18 against NC State, which is 18 more than he had in his previous five games combined. Screen re screen action. Abadi Diakite into the game now for Virginia. Jerome's back as well. Hunter. Tipped up and in by Key. Allison Williams was near the Virginia huddle during the timeout. Allison? Yeah, point of emphasis, obviously, Chris Kamaji here. Their defense against him. And they said the key is to be better on the ball. Really, really good shooter. Hofer. And the assist to Mann with a nice cross-court look. Florida State with a really nice year, 26-6 and six on the season, 13-5 and five in the ACC as Jerome comes up a little bit short, but Braxton Key is there for the putback. Well, this is not only a great city in which to live, but it's a great city to host events. I mean, football, basketball, baseball, you name it. Man! Kevin Gelly, catch. And then right to the basket against Hutch. Offense going. They've turned it over. Not much at all. Strong drive. And the finish will extend the Florida State lead. Let's get more on the Seminoles. Here's Allison Williams again. Right on him when he catches it. Nichols with a nice look. Forrest is wide open. Knocks down the three. And how about this? It's a 10-point lead for Florida State. The break there for Virginia. See if Hunter could make a play, and he will. 16-footer over Raekwon Gray to bring him back within eight. Relate to the young kids. I have no idea. You can't relate to the young kids with a phone booth. Don't even say rotary phone. Good pass. And My son has got a chance for three. Make that shot, obviously. That was 11, 12 points a game. I think you'd rather see Florida State attack the rim. How about Kihei Clark with a change of speed? Teams that are ranked in the top five. I mean, it's most in the country. That's as open as Kyle Guy has been all game long. Wide open, but outside of a scramble situation, that was the first time that Kyle Guy's had a look, and he drilled it. And it's the first made three of the night for Virginia, but Florida State answers right away with M.J. Walker. All of them coming in overtime. Ty Jerome on that last drive. He had to launch that thing up. What? A, that's a big time move. Wow. Turnaround jumper by Phil Kofer. Terrence Mann gave Kyle Guy a little bit more space than some of the guys that have been guarding him in the past. Kumaji. And he runs it down in the corner. He defended by Kofer with seven on the shot clock. Guy knocks it down. Boy, he and Clark got that ball to him late. Boy, I'll tell you, I don't know if Kumaji yelled out to Nichols that Salt was setting a screen, but Nichols sensed it, heard it, felt it, something. He got out of the way in a hurry. So got a counter for that where he comes off to the other side. So if Florida State reads it, they can have that counter on the other side. All of a sudden, a guy with 11 and a tough mid-range jumper for MJ Walker extends the lead to four. Jerome, shovel pass, Salt. How about that little six-foot floater? Guy a career 44% three-point shooter. Virginia down by only two now. Nichols up top again to Kumaji, who's got nine points in the first half. Oh, 
Walker, tough step back jumper, wow. man. Good hedge there by Diakite. He recovers. He's got a switch. Three pointer by Kofer is good, and the lead is back up to seven. Really pressure to speed the game. It's more to slow the advance. And Diakite, who struggled in limited minutes in the first half, has his first points of the night. Trying to give themselves some driving lanes. What a play by Ty Jerome. That's big time. Took it away, kept it in bounds. Guy feeds a wide open Clark. There are certain teams that have the heart of a champion. And that's what that's what this team has, this Virginia team. Trent Forrest with an off-balance leader to make it a three-point game. The Akite almost turned it over. Baseline jumper, Hunter. And the freshman has become a, a really important part of this Virginia rotation. Hunter. And wow. Virginia's got its first lead since it was 8-7. to seven. And Florida State shooting over 50%. And yet they're trailing. A tough shot from the free throw line by Nichols. A better matchup you would think for Florida State, given the size that Cooper has. Terrence man on Kyle Guy not helping at all. Boy, Diakite just kind of screened off a couple of defenders and it got Clark free for a jumper. Hofer misses the throw. Oh, what a rebound. Kevin Gelly with a follow. He went right over the top of Mamadi Diakite. No awards, no awards for us. You were, you were Never voted, an award for us. You were voted the league's top fifth man of the totally year. Kevin <laughs> Gelly showing he's got range as well. Jerome off the screen looking for his first bucket of the night, and he's got it. Good freshman from Fort Lauderdale. Big guy, 6'8, 260. Now the pull-up by Nichols is there. Another kind of off-the-dribble, tough contested two. Virginia has won three ACC Tournament Championships, including two under Tony Bennett. As we check in again with Allison Williams. And look at the Virginia defensive numbers on the season, and then how well, as Jay was saying, Florida State is executed against them. And how about the six-foot-one-inch David Nichols getting down there on, in the post to score? Got one-on-one, -on -one essentially. Braxton Key just walked. He pivoted three times. Nobody called it. Gray with a steal and a finish. Big fella extending the lead to eight. And now Florida State can use a little bit of clock. Let's see if Nichols going to back him down again. This time the double comes. Wow. Another tough shot hit by Nichols. David Nichols in the post. Poker driving. Tipped away by Jerome. But laid up and in by Gray. As Florida State can spread the floor. It's not clogged up by having a big guy in the middle. Jerome, a step on Walker to lay it in. Oh, a step on Kevin Gelly, oh, who block. recovers with a block. What a block. And Florida State's defended so well. Hunter makes a tough shot to get it down and out. 60 seconds of offense because of that offensive rebound and keeping it alive. And then a great cut by Forrest. Jerome with a deep, quick three to make it an eight-point game. A minute and a half to go. Got the trap. Can't pick up your dribble there. Jerome driving, and he makes it a seven-point game. And a save. And then they turn it over only to get it back. Man will slam it, and Florida State is on its way to the ACC Tournament Championship game. What a game by Florida State. What a big win for Leonard Hamilton and the Seminoles.